What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna to be doing an update on BBIG stock. And on today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news that might drive the price of this company. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Mumu valued up to $7,000, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for an account and deposit as little as $1. This is guaranteed free money. Full details you can see on the screen right now. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here. At this point, uh, when we had uh, this movement to the downside from this uh, uh, 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level, and I've told you that uh, we had very good reaction from uh, Golden Pocket, and it was quite obvious. And I also told you that because of this breakout below the 0.65 Fibonacci retracement range, most likely we might hit lower price targets and we hit it. We hit uh, the 0 0.786 uh, Fibonacci retracement level and it is uh, the price point of $2.25. And I have to say that we also broke this range to the downside and uh, it was uh, also quite bearish sign. But for now we have this uh, massive movement to the upside and uh, this uh, movement uh, was for about 18%. Definitely huge increase during just last uh, couple of sessions. And I will show you what should we expect next from the technical standpoint in just several minutes. And for now let's continue with the fundamental news. And uh, let me show you what was the reason of uh, this uh, movement to the upside. So, if we will take a look uh, on their official investors uh, tab folder on their website, we don't have any uh, recent news uh, that I didn't cover on my previous video. And uh, right here on uh, the SEC filings, uh, we also don't have uh, any recent filings related to BBIG. But let me show you their 10K uh, form. And uh, right here you can find that uh, uh, the company will file proxy statement on uh, April 30th, 2022. And this proxy statement uh, related to their Cryptide spin-off. And for now, let me show you that we have uh, not more than two uh, hours left uh, until May the 1st. And uh, definitely we don't have, uh, a, as you can see right here on proxy statements, we don't have uh, any new proxy statements at all at the time when I'm recording this video. This means uh, we have uh, two possibilities. First of all, this proxy statement uh, related to a Cryptide spin-off will be posted a little bit uh, later. And I have to say that uh, it is not something outstanding with this uh, company, that uh, they delayed uh, some uh, major deadlines and uh, it happens, unfortunately it happens. And uh, this means uh, we won't see this uh, potential catalyst uh, this weekend. And uh, that's why we have to be cautious on Monday trading session, because uh, most likely without any news related to Cryptide and its spin-off, we might see lower price action uh, from the current ranges. But the second possibility is that uh, we still have uh, two hours left uh, until May the 1st and definitely uh, by the time I will post this video you will know uh, what uh, is uh, the result uh, of uh, this uh, statement. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis but before we dive deep right here please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, depending on uh, the upcoming news, uh, we might see the trend continuation and uh, if uh, it happens, uh, definitely we won't uh, hit lower price targets uh, on upcoming sessions. This means uh, you can accumulate your position uh, with this uh, asset uh, all the way down to this uh, previous swing low and uh, if it happens, uh, we might see the next leg to the upside uh, and depending on the news and depending on the dates of potential Cryptide spin-off, we might see the next movement to the upside. And uh, on the other hand, uh, if we won't see this uh, proxy statement, definitely it will be the negative catalyst for this asset. And in this case, uh, we might see lower price targets. But what should you do if you want to benefit uh, from this asset? I have to say that uh, we are in the middle of nowhere if you want to enter your long position or short position, because depending on the upcoming news, we can see the movement either way. In my opinion, uh, you have to passionately wait, because uh, for now we are in the middle of nowhere and uh, the next potential movement to the upside or to the downside, depending directly on uh, the upcoming news and on the, the, on the potential proxy statement. But for now we don't have uh, this uh, news at all. 
and the only reason why we have this massive spike in price is the anticipation of uh, this statement and is the anticipation of uh, the upcoming cryptide spin-off. And if this sentiment continues, definitely we will have next leg to the upside. And as I already mentioned, if you are long on this asset, you can add to your position if we will go lower, if we will go below this uh, current range uh, on upcoming session on Monday. You can accumulate your position all the way down and your stop loss should be slightly below this previous bottom and your price target might be this uh, range of uh, resistance at uh, 2.9 dollars mark because it is the confluence uh, with this uh, top of the b wave uh, this bottom of uh, this uh, price action and right here we also have the bottom of the price action as well so this might be a very uh, strong resistance line and uh, from our current price and depending on your entry point you might enter the position a little bit lower uh, you might be up for about 23 percent to this range and the downside potential might be up to 5%. Definitely it is not the best risk to reward ratio, only 4 to 1, slightly above this range. But still, uh, we have uh, this chance uh, to hit at least this target. On the other hand, if you are bearish on this asset and if you think that uh, we won't see this statement and I have to say that uh, it is quite risky assumption because most likely we will see some kind of clarification on this uh, situation and uh, if you are bearish uh, on this asset, uh, just enter your short position on this asset and your major price target will be this previous bottom and uh, we might uh, hit uh, this range of uh, support or this uh, lowest point at 1.92 dollars and technically i have to say that two dollars mark uh, is the huge psychological number this means this entire range from 2.03 dollars all the way down to 1.93 dollars might be your price target uh, if uh, you think that this asset goes south and your stop loss should be slightly above this previous swing high and it is a 7% uh, of downside potential with uh, 19 about 18% uh, of uh, upside potential and this risk to reward ratio is even worse than uh, the risk to reward ratio of long position and on top of that uh, I don't think that uh, we will uh, go lower from this range because most likely we will see some clarification uh, related to the cryptide spin-off and that's why I'm uh, more bullish on this asset and my main setup uh, is right here here the upside potential might be up to 24-25% uh, and the downside potential uh, is uh, roughly 6-7% to to this range. So I think uh, from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell and see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I'm bad. I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit. I'm